Tani Games here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here with just a little tips and tricks video today. Um, just going through ideas of what you can do with the latest uh, Dream Snaps challenge, which is rainbow themed. So I've seen a few people kind of like question in different ways they can do it. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd run through and give a few ideas that maybe might help you come up with an idea of what you can do um now the first thing that i want to point out is technically this is an outfit challenge um so you do want to make sure you think about your outfit and then i'll go through some ideas for like decor and background and things like that so there's a few different ways you can go about this now one of the options is the pride collection t-shirts that were released um, you can still claim those. I'm going to leave a link um, in the description to my video that I have which explains how to claim the Pride t-shirts. So you could wear something like I'm wearing now which is the basic um, LGBTQIA plus uh, flag colours. Um, or you could do something like I've got with this outfit here um, where you use like any of the other kind of flags such as the bisexual one um the trans one things like that so there are different ways you can uh customize your outfit in that way um these shirts do count for the challenge as well they do come under one of the tags um so it's a great way to use it another idea i had was um, this mannequin just to the left of me, which was to create a rainbow effectively with your outfit. So you can see I've started with the red Mickey ears, then there's an orange top and a yellow backpack. Then you've got kind of like the greens from the skirt and the blues and the purple. So you could effectively make your own outfit a full rainbow if you wanted. Um, so that would be another way of doing it and then another way which i've got these two mannequins here to kind of demonstrate would be to actually create a basically a rainbow with the mannequins so you could create a full outfit that was fully red an outfit that was fully orange an outfit that's fully yellow an outfit that's fully blue and purple um i believe you can only have five mannequins in a room um but with your own character as well technically that's six colors that you could do um, so I think that's another way of creating that rainbow uh, gradient that you could do. So that's just kind of one of the things that I wanted to point out. Because it is an outfit challenge, you are going to want to put some thought into the outfit that you're wearing. And do your best to kind of demonstrate rainbows with that. Um, now we can go on to things such as the backdrop. Because at the end of the day... Although the challenge requirements are based on the outfit, it's a photo challenge. So when you go into the actual uh, voting, um, it does literally say vote for your favourite picture below. So when you are voting, you're going to consider the photo as a whole, which is what a lot of people do. Um, yes, you're going to consider the outfit because it's an outfit challenge. But if you have, for instance, two people with the same outfit, I mean, these are two different outfits, but if you did have two people with the same outfit, how would you choose between them? You're going to choose between them because of the photo composition, the backdrop and everything like that. So that's just something that you need to consider when um, you are creating this challenge. So now we've gone through the basics of the outfit let's discuss um decor and backdrop so one thing you can do i've actually changed the wallpaper in this room a little bit um but if you are doing an inside build for instance you can change the wallpaper to something that's a bit more colorful so you can see with the mermaid scale wallpaper here you've kind of got that gradient from the purple to the blue uh, we've got this marbled wallpaper behind which has a mix of sort of like golds and pinks and blues 
um, the Mickey backdrop, which is the reds, the yellows, um, some blues and greys in there as well. And then, of course, you've got the tangled wallpaper, um, which obviously has an array of different colours as well. Um, now, something that I should have um, thought about showcasing, actually, because um, this is something that Jazz came up with on her stream. So all credit to Cozy with Jazz for this. Um, but she actually pointed out that this window here, if you do have this window, um, there's actually a rainbow in it. So you could have this and it's such a good backdrop um, because you have got that mix of colours. It's very vibrant. It stands out. And like I said, you have got that rainbow in there. So just something to consider as well in terms of backdrop if you are doing an inside build. Now, another idea of something that you can do in terms of the decor is actually either a gem room or just um, decorating using the gems. So you can see you've kind of got a rainbow of colours here. So you could either, if you've got a gem room, for instance, pose in here um, or you could use these gems outside, create a path with them. Uh, create a shape um, whatever kind of takes your fancy um, but this is another way of getting that kind of rainbow coloring in here um, you can actually use the gems to create that um, you can also use I think some of the potions come in different colors as well so I don't have any of those crafted here um, but you could place them around as well just to again create that kind of rainbow effect now I'm going to jump outside for the next ones um, just to show you what other ideas you can use for this rainbow build. Okay, so I have put this all together in like sort of five to ten minutes this morning. So you'll have to excuse the fact that it's very kind of crude and basic. Um, but another way you can create a rainbow effect is actually with the flowers in game So if you collect the flowers from all the different biomes You could actually create this kind of radi uh, gradient rainbow um, effect um, You can obviously just do it as a line in a rainbow Again, like I'd mentioned with the gems You could um, create shapes So you could do a layout, a swirl um, all different things but you can get creative and use the actual in-game environment to create a rainbow backdrop so if you imagine posing here you've got all the different colors it's very vibrant obviously if I was going to take a photo here I would fill it out more put more flowers in um, just to kind of get that uh, look across better but this is another way that you can kind of create that rainbow effect and image now for this next effect i have skipped ahead well i say skipped ahead i've adjusted the time in game um just to make it darker um just so that these lights come on but basically you can also create a rainbow effect with the lamps so if you've got plenty of iron and things like that the lamps often come in a variety of colors so we've got red we've got orange the one in the middle there's yellow you've got a blue light and a pink light so you could actually create a rainbow effect using these lights. Now there was a trend um, a little while back where people use these lights and then place the little snow cloud in front of it and it created this kind of like rainbow glow. Um, so that's another thing that you can do as well. Um, so you can do this either at night or just to show you how it's done. If you go into graphics and offset time of day, you can adjust the time of day and it does also work during um, sunset hours. So basically as soon as those lamps come on, you can kind of make use of them. Now the yellow and orange doesn't look great against this current backdrop with the uh, sunset. But for instance, if you had it as a pathway or anything like that, um, it would just look a lot better and a lot more vibrant. So use the lights to your advantage. Use these to create that rainbow effect and feel. Now, the last little tip I have for you all is actually to use the items in game. We have so many items in game 
that actually have like rainbow colors and a variety of colors so if you've got the up balloons you could use them if you've got the ferris wheel there's multiple colors on that um you've got the flags and um this little pinata they were from the first star path so again you could use these um vanellope's sweet car is a uh, multiple colors again getting that rainbow effect or even the items um that you could claim with the pixel code um they also have a variety of colors on them very multicolored very rainbow themed so you could use them as well now what i'd say with these uh decor items is i wouldn't take a photo like this i wouldn't take a photo just placed um with loads of rainbow items behind me i would try and make it cohesive so i would do like a fun fair setup and with that i might use the um up balloons the ferris wheel and the multicolored banners you just want it to kind of look cohesive rather than just like items have been randomly dumped um you could take a photo with an arcade setting backdrop so use multiple of the arcade machines or even set this up in a room so it looks like that uh with vanellope's car you could use her her own house or the sweet house um do a little racetrack setup and that would work for a rainbow especially with the candy pathing um and then with things like the little banners um the pinata or this little celebration set um you could set up like a little party vibe like an outdoor party an outdoor gathering um just make it kind of have a cohesive theme have it be a story now i know a lot of people just kind of want to claim the moonstone so we'll just take whatever's easiest and that's perfectly fine if you do want to do that um but if you are looking at ways to improve your score improve your grading um to increase the moonstones you get um i think that's an important thing to consider is the actual cohesion of the image that it tells a story um that all the items in the image make sense together um rather than just like random items play so if i took a photo here like this i wouldn't expect this to rank very highly but if we come down here to my uh theme park area so this is my little mini disneyland area this tells a story you can see this is a theme park there's rides and things like that um we've got a couple of uh flowers here which tell a story this is a more like cohesive image the items that are placed make sense so we've got the fun fair balloons we've got the up balloons we've got the ferris wheel these items all look like they were strategically placed because they were they were they were placed here to create this theme park environment so just something to consider when you are doing your dream snaps um this is kind of things that you need to consider is do the items look cohesive do they match does it tell a story and does it fit the theme um now obviously i haven't won the dream snaps challenge before so you can always take what i say with a pinch of salt but i have had three weeks in a row with four thousand moonstones so i would assume the photos i'm submitting are somewhat okay <laughs> i would assume they're somewhat decent um to kind of get that sort of higher ranking so these are just a few of my little tips and tricks i hope this helps you out in terms of um ideas and ways you can go in terms of direction for your photos so there's lots of different ways you can create that rainbow effect um that will kind of stand out and look different from everyone else so um i hope that helped and i'll see you on the next video bye for now